Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU for the Rights of Man playing as Ethiopia. It is Wednesday for me but Thursday for you, so hello everybody. Wanted to give uh, a chance for comments to catch up with the events of last unfortunate episode. <sighs> I'm still disappointed about it. So we if you missed it, Russia got into a personal union with Austria and we had an opportunity to contest it and try to take over Russia in a personal union. But um, it almost certainly would have resulted in me fighting Austria, the Commonwealth, and Russia alone. And because I recently declared this war on Morocco, Spain and France would not be able to join because you are not allowed to call your allies in to multiple wars. So it was an unfortunate situation where it could have been an awesome war, very even on both sides. But because I happened to declare war on Morocco when I did... I just lost Russia, and Austria became the most powerful nation in the game. Little unfortunate. But, stuff like this happens. Now, I do want to address a couple of things that were suggested in the last video. Just a couple ideas I want to—I just want to address real quick. So, the first and most obvious one is, can you just reload the game? Yes, I probably could. I would probably lose out on my air and the stability I got last time, but that's no big deal. I could just reload from the last save, not declare war on Morocco maybe Russia would still die. That's the thing. We can't guarantee that Russia would have died. It's kind of a random number generator. So even if I did reload, if Russia died in that episode, great. If they didn't, well, who knows? There's a chance Russia would have gotten a child. They might have died. They might have not. I don't know how old the king was. So um, reloading doesn't necessarily ensure we would have gotten into the war. Um, maybe it would have. Maybe it won't. The second suggestion that was made... Well, actually, no. Let's just continue addressing that real quick. The other reason I wouldn't, even if I could guarantee that Russia would die, I could just reload the game, right? And then type in a debug command and kill Russia just to force it to happen and say, what would have happened if I hadn't declared war on Morocco? I could have done that. But the one reason I won't do that is because um, I'm not playing an Iron Man game on YouTube because the campaigns are long and whenever there's patches, there's a chance an Iron Man game breaks and I don't want to lose that progress. I don't do three or four videos a day like a Roomba does. However... I want it to still be as much of a continuous story as possible, and this time we had to make a judgment call, and I have to live with the consequences of that. I don't want to reload every time the consequences are something I didn't like. At the time, declaring war on Morocco was a very sensible choice. I couldn't possibly have known, and I stand by my decision. But just because things don't go the way I don't want them to, I'm not going to reload the game. I want it to be as close to an Iron Man game as possible without actually having the risk of Iron Man. So that's, that's the reason I won't do that. Now, the second suggestion that was made is I could declare the war anyway and then murk up like hell, and if that means I possibly go bankrupt from the sheer number of troops, so be it, but we could have tried to fight them. No. First off, fighting against Austria, the Commonwealth, and Russia means a long war. These are big nations with lots of forts, lots of sieging, very bloody war. It would take a long, long time. Now, I would have to murk up a good hundred summit thousand mercs in order to even be competitive in this war, and that's so expensive, I would have gone bankrupt pretty much right away. Now, you may say bankruptcy, not a big deal. Bankruptcy, big deal, guys. Reason being, when you go bankrupt, morale of armies minus 100%. Even if I had the sheer numbers on the battlefield, if I then go bankrupt, they'll all practically get instantly stack wiped. And I would lose the war that way, and I would be bankrupt. So, nice thought, and if it were a lot closer, if I were a lot more powerful, and I had, like... 250,000 troops, maybe I could have justified adding an extra 30, 40 mercs and just racing against time to fight them. But that's not the hand that I've been dealt. And bankruptcy is not a good alternative. Uh, it almost would guarantee that I lose the war and I am weak for many decades to come. So that's the other reason I'm not going to do that. So, as unfortunate as it is, we are going to stick with what, the choice that we made. Russia now is serves Austria directly. And we are going to fight Morocco. We're going to take their money. We're going to try to get the institution. We're going to go with plan A. It's just really, really sad. Now, that said, we already know from the ledger that Russia was significantly stronger than Austria by over 100,000 troops. And Russia, being a large, very powerful nation, generally, they don't like being under personal unions if you're stronger than your overlord. So there's a very good chance, a very good chance, in fact, that Russia will declare a war, an independence war, and try to get back out from under Austria and we can try helping that along, right? Maybe there are things that we can do to try and agitate for liberty. For example, right down here. Now, I need 90 spy network and 27 diplomatic technology, which is not going to happen. 
Right, so we're not able to do a covert operation at this point in the game to try and get Russia to break free from Austria. Later in the game, we could do that, but not right now. Now, I'm not sure if there is still a, like, support independence option. I'm not sure if that got... that might have gotten removed from the game after they did the covert changes. I actually have not used it since. Let me just check. Sabotage reputation... so discontent. This I could possibly do, but it would increase unrest. And that's about it. No, I think... Support independence. It is still in the game. Okay, well, they despise me. We need to have a positive opinion. So we can't ask them. But otherwise, if they liked me better, what I could have done was uh, support their independence just to try and give them better odds in calculating their war against Russia and say, the size of my alliance would be so much larger, I can afford it to kill their war now. But I'm not allowed to do that. So there's actually, you know what, now that I think about it, there's not a dang thing I can do. So we're just going to have to hope that Russia breaks free on their own. I'm not comfortable with that, for obvious reasons. I don't like trusting the AI. I have trust issues. There goes the trade, Casas Belli, and there goes the stuff, and Commonwealth France. Yeah, all their rivalries are immediately disbanded. Ugh, yeah, there's nothing we can do. Not a dang thing we can do to try and break Russia free right now. Which is unfortunate. I actually thought there would be something, but no. We're not allowed to do anything. Russia is no longer a great power, and no longer a valid rival for me. Yep, that makes sense. So I am now only rivaled to Austria and the Commonwealth. Actually, Austria is still not rivaled to me. Whoop. Okay, we got some rebels. Uh, can I get a good leader in charge here? Yeah, actually, I can. Why don't you go down there and put them down real quick? We do not want them converting my territory. Noble family requests aid. Lots of money. Um, yeah, no, I'm not going to spend that money. I need that to become... I need to get that to adopt global trade, so we're just going to have to lose some power. There goes a bunch of cores. Excellent. We should probably convert them. We shouldn't have to worry much about um, any Sunni zealots for a little while, I would hope. Now, they're probably going to siege us down. I don't know. Actually, we may get there in time. Yeah, actually, they're, uh, we're going to get there in time to kill them. Good. So they're not going to convert this to Sunni. And, of course, Austria just became the emperor again. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What are the odds of that? Austria's king also just died. Wow. So their personal union both now has a seven-year-old child. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So Maria Theresia is now the queen regent of Austria and Russia. And this child is going to inherit two thrones. Oh, dear God. There is a chance, I think, that the child can inherit the throne of Russia and that actually immediately becomes Austria. Well, actually, no. Russia's so large, I don't think that that's possible. I don't remember the exact calculation. Probably not. Well, either way. All right, well, Austria's not going to be flexing their muscles anytime soon. I mean, I guess that's a good thing, right? Uh, Diplotech cost reduction for the next 10 years. Oh, heck yes. Grab that, please. Thank you. All right, Sunni are done. How's the unrest? Still pretty bad. Let's go into the steps. These are also steps. I am saving my power. Um, not getting the next merchant right now. So that I can afford to get the uh, Diplotech as soon as I adopt the institution. It looks like our wife is greedy again. No, no, my king. My king is now greedy. 10% tax reduction as long as he lives. Ouch. That's a lot of money lost. Kind of sucks, but what can you do, right? All right, we want to get our good general in charge up here again. Anyway, guys, I, th I think you all understand that I made the right the right call. Right, I, I explained myself pretty well. I don't think that any... Ooh, Timbuktu is attacking. I don't think that anyone could make the argument that I made the wrong call, that I should have made that fight, right? No, that, that would have been death. We all know it. However, it is very disappointing. Okay, we can do one more uh, colony in here in Austria, and we'll be able to get ourselves a colonial nation. Let's go ahead and send that. So as soon as this is done, and this is done, Australia will be formed. Again, I don't think I've seen any, uh, any suggestions as far as names. Maybe I've just missed it. I'll be honest, the channel's been growing large enough, and I'm getting comments often enough per day, it's getting harder and harder to keep track. Um, it's getting to the point where I'm almost getting, like, 100 summit comments a day now, which is 
pretty tough. Uh, let's see. Mursa has recently been uh, seen many a lost soul seeking guidance at the monastery. We can either get some power and some local production efficiency or some manpower. Um, what's the province? Mursa? Mursa. You are better. You got, yeah, we'll just go ahead and grab the production efficiency. It's not worth a lot, but Diplo Power is just better for me in general right now. Oh my god, this stupid woman. She's cheating on me still after all of this. That's it. That's it. Um. Um. Do we execute the treasurer? She'll just cheat on me again. I want to. I want to divorce her, but then France will get mad. Get the local unrest. Kill the treasurer. Screw you. Stop cheating on me and with my uh, with my wife. Don't do it. All right, we could get missionary strength, which I don't need. We could. I don't want to get the cheap guy, but we do need the money, don't we? All right, get the national unrest guy. Just try to keep the re um, rebellions down to a minimum. Fez has been taken. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move into these mountains. You go here to the highlands. You follow. You go. Say here? I don't know. I'm, I'm worried about that 30,000 stack. I, I need to be careful where they're going right now. Bohemia! Cork Bottle Stoppers! Yay! Corks! We can try to improve our uh, wine a little bit. Go to Fez. You go here. Where are you going? You're going to Changiers. You could attack directly, but you're not. So I'm curious how you're maneuvering right now. Where do you want to go? Because you just moved into the drylands, which means I kind of want to kill you now. Yeah, if he's not going to hang out in mountains and stuff, we probably should just straight up murder him, yes? Alright. We're not going to give him anywhere to retreat. Let's go. Let's get him. We're going to stack... We're going to dogpile. 64,000 troops on his face. He's going to cry like a little baby that he is. Alright, go there. You go there. Timbuktu's already sieging that down, so I'm not going to be able to take it. Go, go, go. Now, you will arrive on the 23rd, the 25th. Good. My proper general will arrive first. That's what I want to see. And overwhelming crushing force. Look at the cannons go. Squisha, squisha, squisha. And stack wipe. All right. Hey, cool. Our colony is done there, too. Excellent. So, I could continue investing some more colonies in Australia, and then Australia would be able to just be stronger, but eh, they'll probably do some expansion stuff on their own. Let's go ahead and return our attention to Africa uh, I think I'll colonize this one next. To turn Eora into a city. Local development cost and base production. Well, that'll be great for Australia. More so than it will be for me, but hey, that's done. Conquer a Dern, fight the Commonwealth. No, thank you. I'd rather avoid that. So, meh. Alright, we have another fort here. Um, you have two siege. Go there. And you go here. Okay. You go here to Sus. Make sure that Timbuktu doesn't get anything else from here on out. New monarch in the Commonwealth. I forgot how many Regency Councils have been going on lately in Europe. Ooh, where are you going? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stop it. Stop it! Timbuktu, dang you! Fine, I'm going to haha. -ha. You're not allowed to have haha. -ha. Noop has embraced the printing press. Far easier than I was able to. Okay, Tangiers is under my control. Why don't you go there? Um, guess we'll send you here. Okay, this is about as much as I'm going to be able to siege down, I think, in this war. At least for the time being. So we'll just loot for a little bit. New Monarch in Malacca. Good for them. They'd like out of this war already. Can't say I blame them. We do have their capital and 96% war score. Not sure what else I really plan on doing to them, but we could just sit back and loot for a little bit. There's going to be a lot of rebellions in this area, unfortunately. Depending on how much uh, territory we decide to take, how much power I have? 267. So we might need a lot. I do have a diplomat free. Let's go ahead and see what I could take from them. Unconditional surrender. No, 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 no. Sue for peace. I want this, 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 this. That's all I can take? How much... How much... How much you got here? It's nine developments. Uh, this isn't in the center of trade. We do want that. Ten, seven. They have a gold mine here, don't they? I feel like they do. Yeah, sure enough, that's the gold mine. Okay, I'd like to take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll take the gold mine. Okay, um, 
This does seem pretty reasonable. Now, we wanted to take all your money. I can only get 500. Ah, that's a problem. If we take one less and take more money... Oh, they've got 1,748 ducats. Okay. What's more important right now? Money? Tangiers is really useful to me. Okay, I'm fine with giving up garb. I'm not sure I'm okay with giving up that. Am I okay with losing about eh, 100 ducats? Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that to get a little bit more territory. This would be pretty good for me. Now, 331 power. That would take a little while. This is a lot of aggressive expansion. Ottomans, Timbuktu, Hejaz, Noop, Mali, and Persia. That we can handle. That's no big deal. Yeah, yeah, this is the peace deal I'm going to go for. 100% peace deal. They're already happy to accept. Um, but we do need more power. I don't want to take cores that I can't take. Or core. Provinces that I can't core. That's what I'm trying to say. Hijaz has insulted me for reasons that are unbeknownst to any sane person. Aw, a general left us. Which one? Well, not the best one, so it's... Okay, I guess. Um... Hmm. <sighs> now, of course, the sooner I end this, the sooner I can adopt the next institution. The rival of our rival, the Netherlands, needs to like us. That I can do. Hey, Netherlands. How are you? I like you. You like me. Uh, we can improve. Yeah, we can improve all the way up to 100. We'll be fine. All right, a lot of conversions are finishing up. Heretics of Constantine. Ujda. And so on and so forth. Um, and no conquest against the Commonwealth because I can't core anything from them. All right, well, all of this seems pretty reasonable. I guess we'll just sort of have to sit back on speed five for a little bit. Uh, Sorg Han Separatists, which are you? That's probably down here. Is this Songhai area? Let's see. Ah, down over here. Okay. That's in the steps, so let's put a leader in charge here and move there. He's what I'm worried about. We got some Shia Separatists, some Katsinians, and some Algerians. Now, Katsina and such we could put down entirely. There's a 10% chance that these guys fire, though. This army alone is probably okay. They can handle it. Um, but a 20 stack would put down many of these different rebel factions. Katsinian and Shia, at least. But they're also not as likely to fire, whereas this, having a defensive terrain bonus would actually be pretty substantial, saving me manpower. So I'm alright with that for now. Morocco is still pirating me, despite the fact that I'm beating the ever-loving snot out of them. Seems a little bit uncalled for, don't you think? I think so. Alright, I want to reduce my army maintenance, but I can't, so long as these guys are still going to fire. Tuscany is hiring armies from Spain for reasons. Who are you fighting? Oh, you're fighting Hungary. Defender against Hungary in the Hungarian reconquest of Dalmatia. Ah, they're fighting Venice. Okay, that seems reasonable enough. Hmm. I'm not really sure what to do at this point. Look at Switzerland go. They're actually getting larger than usual. Hmm. Platinum is really... Sorry, not the Platinum. The Commonwealth is actually really quite scary to me. Hey, they did fire. Excellent. And we have the defensive terrain, so we should be able to crush this relatively quickly. Losing a bit more men than I think I was expecting, but there we go. All right. So if we go to Katsina, for example, as these guys reinforce, so we'll be able to put this down, then we'll be able to put down the Shia. So the only ones that'll be left will be the Algerians, which is in Michija and Dara. Where are those? Uh... Not there. Oh, that's up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we might be able to put those both down. We probably can. Oh, yeah, we totally can. All right. You guys. Go mia. You. Go mia. And you go mia. There we go. Okay. I'm actually going to split these guys up. Just so that we can siege a little bit more effectively. Uh, and by siege, I mean loot. Just have some people in every province just looting. It's not a lot of money, but it's something. Do we have enough power, actually, right now? Oh, I have no diplomats to send. Right. Yeah. It's a little bit of a problem. Let's pull off of the Netherlands for a minute. I'm going to lose a little bit of progress, but... That's probably okay, right? I don't see there's too much of an issue. Come on. Got the diplomat. It takes so long to get around. Really? India? The province... Our country in India is rivaling Austria. Fascinating. Okay, 1,600 ducats. 
That's a lot of money. We're also getting a good amount of territory, and we are able to core it all now. We'll have some overextension, which is always a little bit of a problem, but it'll be okay. That money will go to good use. Done? Thank you. Let's see. Now you go to the mountains and Fez. Fez is where the rebels will almost certainly fire. We did get several important centers of trade in this one, so that's a pretty good haul from me. Fez was 108 power. Good lord. Still, I mean, 25 development is pretty good, or so I am told. And we have a bit more control in the Seville trade node, which is quite nice. All right, so for the institution, we need more money. I can take one loan out. I can justify that. That's a lot of money, but we can afford it. We're going to take out a loan. Now, I'm losing money per month, so I need to be careful. And to that extent, I'm actually going to reduce fleet maintenance, and I'm going to turn back off all my forts, make sure we're good. Okay, we're not going to lose any money. Now, now that I have enough money, let's finally embrace global trade. Done. Okay, now we have an extra merchant, too, which could be kind of helpful. National decision, ah, decisions, there we go, are available. Found an Indian trade company for an, another merchant, as well as some money and global trade power. Because we already have uh, ports in India, China, Japan, or the East Indies. Done. So two merchants out of that arrangement. That was pretty cool. Uh, we did decide we wanted to put one down here, Yes. We actually have 9% control here now. Yeah, that's a lot of money we can send into the Gulf of Amman. So we're going to transfer. There we go. And there's actually a lot of money here as well. Now, a lot of that is redundant. Still, I think this is the better node to be tra and transferring. We have more control there anyway. We actually got a bit of downstream trade power here, which is kind of nice. Um, What are the other alternatives? I don't think I can steer much more. I could try to get some more control from Aleppo. But almost all the money is going south here already. So what are we really missing out on? Some money here, but that's already going here. We're going to transfer it. So upstream, not much to lose. To the Gulf of Aden. Anything go into Katsina? Nothing goes into the Katsina trade node. So I could get a little bit more control of Aleppo, but we wouldn't gain much out of that. We might as well actually just collect some money here. Collect from trade will get us a little bit more control and money out of the Alexandria trade node itself. Uh, which is not too bad. We can finally get some tech. Let's go ahead and grab the Diplo tech that we were missing out on. There you go. Once again, we are a little bit further ahead of time in tech, which means that our corruption is not going to go up as fast as it was before. Uh, getting extra trade efficiency would be quite nice. Max promoted... Yeah, we haven't really done much as far as promoting cultures, but we're still working on a Diplo Idea group. So yeah, let's take a quick look-see. We made 26.45 ducats out of trade last month. Let's see how things look at the end of this month. Should go way up. 28.93. Not as much as I would have liked, but it's still something. Ooh, the Aztecs just took land from England. That's kind of cool. And we have borders now with Spain which could potentially cause some problems. Actually, there we go. Now we're up to 31.19. That's a lot better. And there's the extra trade efficiency we were looking from, from the East Indian trade route. How are we looking as far as money? That's actually not as much as I would have thought. 3.47, not good enough. You know what? Let's try something. I was going to end the video, but let's not. Let's recall this merchant, and let's try transferring trade power here. Uh, we have to wait till this guy gets back. Oh, he'll arrive in a month. Good grief. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Whoop. Ottoman separatists. That's a problem. All right. We'll try transferring a little bit more here. Uh, just catch a little bit more of the money going this direction. See how that works out for us. So are you guys... Yeah, you guys actually are sieging me down. Dang you. How dare you. All right. We actually forgot about some of these armies because I've been working on other stuff. But um, Let's go over here. Now, the Algerian Separatists actually aren't going away because we have our overextensions causing problems. But we can put these guys down, I think. No, not quite. That's 5.4. We can only get 5. It's close. Just not quite enough. All right. So you arrive when? 23 days? All right. So we'll have to wait until another month. English Civil War. They went with the Royalists as their option. That's cool. All right. 30.88 ducats. Because we took off collecting trade. Do we get more than, what was it, 31.19 or something like that? At the end of this month? 32.11. 
Still not as much as I was hoping for, but we only have 5 and 7% control here. That said, this should stack up some caravan power that gives us a little bit more control. It's still more money, so it's okay. Could be better, could be a lot worse. Alright, now I need to end this video. Thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I, as always, will see you guys next time.